Thank you and welcome to this seminar called The Five Secrets to Success in Dental Practice. My name is Dr. Nav Ropra and I'm a practicing dentist and a speaker. And today we're going to share some secrets with you and some insights about success. Success in any field and especially and exclusively to dental practice. Can I ask, first of all, by a show of hands, how many of you here would love to be successful? So that's everybody in the room. And how many of you here already are successful? So that's a, that's a great start, because that's, that's what I was hoping for. What I'd like you to do is turn, I want, we've got about an hour together, so I want you to be comfortable. I want you to turn to the person next to you and just share with them one area of your life where you already are successful. It may be in your family, it may be in your practice, it may be in your relationships, it may be in your health, vitality, beauty, fitness. What area of your life already are you successful? And you may, you may want to join the three over there, it's up to you if you want to engage every part of the community of this room. And just share for one minute where you already are successful. Can I now ask you again by a show of hands, how many of you already are successful? Great, we've got a, well, everyone's hands are up. So we've gone from like, say 10% of the room to 100% of the room being successful in literally three minutes of the start of the conference. So I think that's a great start. So well done for acknowledging the fact that you're successful. So let's define what success is because I think that's an important parameter to start with. If you look at the epidemiology of the word success, it comes from the word succession. Succession really is defined by left brain orientation. If you look at the brain, it's got two hemispheres, the left and right hemisphere. And the left brain is really linear, logistic, and logical. If our left brain is linear, logical, and linguistic, then we're defining that as success because we can orchestrate our life, we can organize our life, and people who are really successful, it seems they, they have this ability to organize, organize their left brain. But we also have a right brain in our, in our, in our, in our heads, and the right brain's really creativity, emotions, experience. And success really is engaging both left and right brain hemispheres equally in order for you to be successful in any field, in whatever you do. We know of, we've heard of great artists who, like the, what's the guy who hanged himself about a year ago? Any ideas, what's his name? Robbie Williams? Robbie Williams, right. We've all heard of amazing people, like successful people like Robbie Williams, and just recently Prince, who it seems have everything in the world that money could buy. And yet, they're unfulfilled inside, something is not fulfilled for them. So I would say, if you start to look at the word, the definition of the word success, from not just what's happening on the outside, not what's happening externally to you, but your own level of fulfillment, then when you get to the place where you want to get to by doing the things you want to do with your left brain, you also engage your right brain and you find when you're there you're successful because success happens right now. Success is happening right now at this moment in time and if we can acknowledge the success that we already have by doing the things of what we did up to this point, then we get, when we get to where we want to get to in life, and do the things we want to do, we feel that successful and we won't feel unfulfilled in our life because we have fulfillment. And the word fulfillment means that the mind is full. The mind doesn't see anything missing in this world. 